Wagwan, it's your boy CJ Fly, repping that Pro River Beast Coast, and you watching Hot New Hip Hop on the come up. Fly! Life before rap was very chill, you know. I'm an only child, so I was spending most of my time by myself, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get a good hobby, you know what I'm saying? Either with some bitches or some music, you know? I grew up in Flatbush, and uh, I moved to Best Style around like my teenage years with my mom, you know. So like all the high school life I've been in Best Style, you know. So as I'm matured, I've been in Best Style. Well, my dad's from Jamaica and my mom's from Barbados, and I'm a Jabarican in my words. <laughs> but like, I'm super heavy on my culture influences. Like people don't know this, but I know more reggae than I know hip hop. You know what I'm saying? If people were to quiz me on hip hop right now, I'd be probably stumped. But if you ask me about Buja Bantan or Bounty Killer or Movado or somebody, you know what I'm saying? I got you. Don't know. <laughs> Shout out to Golden Crest, man. Drake Patties is fire. You know what I'm saying? The Mild Patties, after I got older, I realized them shit's just not really too cracking, you know what I'm saying? But the Drake Patties is fire, you know what I'm saying? One day I'm gonna open my own restaurant. Soon, that's coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Working on that. <laughs> Honestly, when, when I really got like into even wanting to be a rapper is when I seen Bow Wow doing this thing. Like, as a kid, there was no other kid doing anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I was like, yo, I wanna be that kid one day, you know what I'm saying? Like, have all of that swaggy shit, you know what I'm saying? The pit bulls and all that, you know what I'm saying? That was cool to me. And then, like, as I got older, I started listening to more real rap. So, like, I definitely, that was the main thing that got me started, you know what I'm saying? In about, what year was that? 09, 2010, we all, ganged up, you know. We used to do shows together and shit like that in Edward Almaro. And um, Steez and I did shows together in Edward Almaro. And what you call it, Steez and Joey were cool. And then we ended up linking up through that, you know what I'm saying? And then we all came together, cut class. We were like, yo, we don't want to go to class. We're going to chill together and rap and shit. And we had so much chemistry and everything. And then uh, everything was just going how it was going. Everything was progressing, you know what I'm saying? Joey was on the internet blowing up everything, survival tactics. And you know what I'm saying? Like it. The story goes on, you feel me? But it started from us being in high school and, you know what I'm saying? We started rapping and taking it serious from there. The way I see it is my baby, <laughs> you know? Like, I feel like there was a lot of emotion in that and a lot of creativity, you know? I was about 18, 19 working on that project. And me being 22 now, that's a long time ago, you know? Like, my mindset was totally different. And even when I listen to it, I'm like, whoa, what was I thinking? Like, you know, like, creatively and wildly, like, some of the things I was saying was, like, really interesting, you know? So, I, I even catch things that I didn't even know I put in there, you know? Like, so, it's a really great project, and, yeah, the new shit's coming soon. With these songs, when I make these songs, I always, like, feel like I'm scoring a movie, or it's, like, actually, like, a plot to a movie, or even a script to a movie, you know? In my head. I watch so much movies, like, that's what I do in my daily, like, I watch movies and shows and just, taking all of the cinematography and everything else, all the elements and stuff, so. When it comes to like Italian friendship, like I envisioned it that way when I wrote the song, you know? It wasn't something that I had to think about post. It was like something that came to me when I wrote it too. And even when I first wrote it, how I knew it was a great song too, I remember Steve saying to me, I sang it for Steve, sang the hook for him. And he was like, yo bro, that's just genius. And I was like, word. I never really, you know what I'm saying, told nobody that. But I always made sure that I followed through with the song because I slept on it at a point in time. And then when I sang it for him, he confirmed it was hot. I was like, all right, no doubt. In the Supreme video, yeah, we shot that. I wrote that whole thing. That was crazy. Like, I hit Joey. I was like, yo, bro, I got a vision. And he was like, yo, let's do it. And we knocked it out, you know what I'm saying? We got some dope directors to work with. Shout out Amish, shout out Chris Murray. And it came out really dope, man. Supreme was about to go to two million views and shit. So that's amazing. It's a blessing. For collaborations, I've been working with the homie Devante, this producer out of Toronto named Gold Soul, this other producer and engineer out of Toronto named DF. Smokey Got Beats from New Zealand, INF, Inf from New Zealand, you know what I'm saying? These are all great producers. Uh, Icast Boy from Paris. I'm just trying to work more with people that are in sync with me, you know? I, the other day I sent a joint to Rory, hopefully he gets on that joint. So, FT is coming soon. Uh, <laughs> it's my new project. It was supposed to be an EP, but I started making so much great songs it just turned out to be an LP, I guess, you know? And I think it's been two years. Uh, the fans deserve a good amount of great music from me to, to sustain them so my album comes out. 
And yeah, that's coming soon. I'm mixing that right now.